Alright, how are you doing, gents and fellow survivalists? I'm going to do a quick little physics lesson on fire. So, usually what we're trying to burn is wood. Um, and what I'd like to demonstrate is the difference between different fire starters and the reason why I personally carry a lighter. Okay, Because... It's just more efficient if you think about what the end goal you're trying to accomplish is is heat okay we're not trying to make sparks here's a sparker I make sparks when we are effectively showering with let's say a meteor shower Okay, compared to the sun. Let's put the sun next to it and see what happens. Neat. Alright. Here's another form of fire starter. This is electric. Ready? Ooh, put it right in there. I got instant fire. Now some of you might think, well, dude, that's not realistic. Okay, that's something you have to charge you have to rely on the battery etc etc well true but this has been sitting in my pocket for a year and I haven't charged it or touched it in a year it's ready to go okay yeah so it's just an option for instant heat Okay, so <clears throat> what I like to talk about is, like I say, our goal is heat, not spark. Part of the reason being is that wood needs to be heated to at least somewhere in the area of 450 to 500 degrees just to begin charring. Okay, that's why a lot of times if you get it cold going, you've got to blow on it. What are we blowing on it? Oxygen. Not just air. So, <clears throat> at 700, when we get more heat, we get an even better fire. Because at 700, we pretty much get instant ignition. Okay? So, what happens when we heat something? We got these molecules. Oxygen. Carbon. Hydrogen, among other things. But what's really happening is the carbon and oxygen want to combine. And when they combine with covalent bond, they create heat. Because oxygen is reacting with the carbon when it attaches in its covalent bond. Okay? And very often, what happens is we get two carbon attaching to one oxygen and that creates CO2 okay that's why we get carbon dioxide in the process of burning something because carb oxygen is combining and reacting with the carbon and creating heat when you create heat it bumps into these other molecules because they start moving about really fast and if you can get that chain reaction going to sustain itself you will get a whole lot of heat which is our goal with fire is heat which is why I emphasize the best way to get heat is to actually just use heat when you sit there with a sparker thing you don't know how much heat you're gonna be able to get you don't know how dry the wood is that you're trying to light <clears throat> this is sawdust. Let's try it on there. Now, I know that some of you guys really love that cool little ferro rod and that sparker and this and that and the other thing. How come I don't got fire yet? I'm going to work for who knows how long to try to get fire. Meanwhile, I could go collect wood instead of wasting my time screwing around 
So now I got to put enough heat to it to get the chain reaction sustained and going. There it is. Okay? That's more efficient to actually use the goal that you're trying to achieve. Got it? Now, to really demonstrate this, I want to prove you want oxygen as your catalyst to sustain the heat reaction. Okay? So I'm going to move over here to an oxyacetylene torch. And what I'm going to demonstrate is something many of you may not know, but oxygen is the catalyst. Stand by. get my glasses so the secret is when you create enough heat and that oxygen is allowed to come in it will sustain that heat reaction on its own so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the flame once I get a sustained reaction. I'm going to turn off the acetylene completely and the oxygen combining with the iron will create enough heat to sustain the reaction that I can keep cutting through the steel. Proving my point. I'm going to I'm going to yell it out when I turn off the acetylene and just use oxygen. Now first we have to create enough heat to get the reaction going to combine with oxygen. So in effect this is like my lighter, okay? But this works a lot better to accomplish your goal than sitting there and doing this. That's just oxygen. Just oxygen blowing on it. So the oxygen is reacting with the iron creating its own heat, providing the sustained reaction. So in other words, when we get whatever it is hot enough, all we need is that heat to allow it to combine with the oxygen. And of course, if it's allowed to cool down, then it won't sustain the reaction anymore. So you need heat in order to have fire. And just to top it off, ending the video, a lot of you think that maybe a Bic lighter won't last very long. I've had this lighter for over two months. I light three fires a day. Heat my house, heat some water, make some coffee. I live with fire, I don't use electricity. You can see it's still half full, okay? So yeah, they will last a long time if you're not a smoker. All I'm really doing when I light something when I light a fire, all you really got to do is do that and boom, you're done. You got your fire lit, okay? You don't have to sit there for eight minutes with a freaking flame going. For instance, here's a toothpick. Okay, maybe I'm going to light that toothpick on fire. Okay, done. Done. Okay, now I can light fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a big lighter, I guarantee you, lasts quite a long time. So if you buy a five pack for two bucks, 
you're good for anywhere for six months to a year.